So I'm in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress with Jamie Fink, who is the VP of Technology, specifically Fixed Wireless. Yes, that's correct. And uh, we'll be talking a bit about that today. So tell me about the Six Series and what use cases it will enable. Thank you. The, um, I think the Six Series is our next generation of point to multipoint uh, products that are used for broadband applications and backhaul applications, and it's introducing a, a number of new capabilities where wireless has not really been able to address yet. First of all, I think we're talking about rural areas, that's where we know fixed wireless began, and it used to be something thought of as a 10 megabit service or a 25 megabit service, and it grew up to 100 megabit, but now we're getting to gigabit speeds with this new platform, and that's extremely important with all of the government funding applications and people looking at fiber alternatives to hit that gigabit speed is the, the panacea of what people say, I, I really am not comfortable using wireless. I think we can comfortably say with the new technologies and the new spectrum, we can hit that goal. The second use that we see is very important is moving into more dense deployments. Fixed wireless has been fairly a not scalable technology and that's why it was used mostly in rural areas. This new technology, OFDMA technologies, et cetera, are really going to enable high capacity competitive broadband applications in suburban and residential areas. We're really excited about that kind of growth. Great, and let's talk a little bit more about some of the challenges of unlicensed spectrum. And can you tell me how OFDMA and the new spectrum really addresses those challenges? Yeah, per certainly. The, I think when people think of, of five gigahertz or unlicensed, they think unreliable. That's their first response, and that it's not comfortable for a lot of carriers to be able to deploy a, a carrier-grade service in that band. And while we've been able to prove that we can do that in, in previous generations, the OFTMA technology really gives us a ton of noise mitigation as well as next generation massive MIMO techniques and beam forming. That gets us past many of the noise issues of the five gigahertz band. But the really great news here is, you know, the FCC is in the middle of opening up this wide swath of six gigahertz spectrum in early 2023. And our products are ready for that and support both the five and the six gigahertz. And that's critical for ISPs who are not sure whether they're going to get the new channels or not yet, and they can have an anchor channel assessed essentially in the five gigahertz. So we're excited that it's going to give us both the speed and the new technologies to handle both of the bands, the noisier band and the new clean band. Yeah, so you started to talk about a little bit what it's going to bring to the ISPs, but who else, who's going to be using this? Like sure. you've sold me on it, sounded great, <laughs> but who's actually going to be using this technology? So you know, I think I mentioned like the Ardoff projects and that's, that's one aspect of it. If you look at who those guys are, at the root of those deployments, they're local fiber guys as well as new wireless entrants that are, I'd say, uh, you know, aggressively trying to attack the market and be, you know, both competitors and also serving the unserved and the underserved. So I think that's clearly one category. Definitely as we look into international markets, we're seeing huge adoption interest by the larger carriers because it's not so cheap for them to do and, and to use their 4G spectrum and they're not ready for 5G yet to use it for fixed wireless. Fixed wireless is a vastly lower cost solution and that's one of the reasons Airspan acquired the Mimosa team is we know that not every area, especially developing markets, can handle the cost of licensed spectrum for fixed wireless applications and we can do this at a fraction of the cost with this new technology with much higher speeds as well.